where are you? This is crazy. Are you all right? Where have you been all night? Please just... I'm going mad here. Could you just please call me or, or text me or something? I can't stand this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Maria, I love you, right? I love you. Good morning. How are you today? Managed to get any sleep? Yeah, I think so. On and off. I'll just check your tummy. Try to relax. Sorry about the noise. The babies. We were wondering if you want to make any phone calls. No. You won't get better on your own, love. You need someone by your side. I'm not ill. You said I was fine. Anyway, I feel much better today. Good. Maria, there are lots of decisions to be made. Hard ones. You need someone at your side. What decisions? How you tell people. The funeral. What name do you want to give your son? When can I go home? Have you, uh, you booked Steve? Half too sharp. I know Lloyd's all well and good, but... Ed. It'll be here. Oh, fab, get it. Oh, here it is. Now. Have you got yours? Sit down and have a cup of coffee. Now, I thought we'd celebrate with a Roy breakfast. Yeah, just sit down and talk to me first. Yeah, I will, I will. I've got to find a charger for me. You've got all day to find your charger. Sit down, please. You are one cool chick, you are. I mean, no one will know you're heading off on a luxury cruise in the sun. Have you even started back in? Vernon. Oh, nice coffee, that, love. I am... Um... I'm so sorry. I am. I'm really, really sorry. Oh, what is it? Hey, come on, come on, don't look so... What is it? I'm not coming. <laughs> yeah, right, very funny. <laughs> very amusing. No, I'm not. I'm really sorry. Is that ribbon a tip? Which did you ask for? Ribbon. So which do you think it is? Well, Vicky wanted needles yesterday, and you gave her a load of labels. So, I mean, come on, let's be a bit civil. Oh, no, big disaster. How did you cope? So I forget. What'd you say? Are you not well, Mr Connor? Is Maria all right? Last month or two, very difficult. What is this? Weatherfield Ladies Gossip Circle? Just get on with some work. Domestic. He's in the doghouse. Maria's still sulking, is she? Anything in the diary for today? Not for you, no. I can't stand sulkers, me. I had an old boyfriend once that used to slam around for days. Hey, is she a slammer or a smoldre? She was out all night. <laughs> so, you stay out one night, she does the same. It's very grown up, man. Don't start, Carla. If you would have woken me up, we wouldn't have been in this. But... Yeah, yeah. Did you try a brother? What do you think? I even phoned Cyprus. She could be anywhere. <laughs> They're not going to take her on a plane, are they? Have the kid in international airspace. Sorry. I mean, should I phone the hospitals? When do I tell the police? Oh, get a grip. You dared to upset her. Now she's punishing you. Well, you spoke to her yesterday. She was all right, wasn't she? Stuff that she can do without me for a day. She really knows how to jerk your strings, don't she? Oh. You'll enjoy being with the lads. If I were there, you'd feel as if you had to keep me company all the time. I was looking forward to it. Right, so was I, but I'm trying to look on the bright side. Oh, you and me, standing on the poop deck, aft, whatever, watching the silvery phosphorescent wake. 
We'll be there one day. <laughs> Do you want to hand with that? Look, you get off at a free cruise every week. Yeah, I, I, I can manage. If you run a bar of soap... No, I eat. can manage. I can't leave the pub just now. You know how it is. I, I thought it were all fixed. Yeah, I was kidding myself. Right, well, I, I, I'll not go. I'll, I'll phone around and I'll get another drummer. No, you won't. That would be silly. I, I don't want to go without you. Well, of course you do. You must. What? Well, you're that desperate to get rid of me? Of course not. I am gutted. I was looking forward to this so much. Oh, were you? How could you even ask me that? Hey. This is a wonderful opportunity for you. Wealthy passengers, celebrities, influential people. Mm -hmm. Producers and... Recording magnets, talent scouts. There you are, then. All right. I'll go. For our future, I'll go. Oh, but it won't be the same without you. Mm. I'm sorry, Liam. I think she's behaving really badly. I do, honestly. The one day I ask her to take charge, she goes swanning off and I haven't seen her since. I mean, where did she get to yesterday? I, I, don't, I don't know. She rang, but I... Oh, Jack, I cannot be doing with all this nonsense. I really can't. If she's not here in the next ten minutes, then she can look for another job, I'm telling you. I mean, she knows full well we've got three regulars sorry, this morning. I'm sorry, I'm not that bothered about your appointment, but my wife oh, is missing. Oh, she's just making a point. Hi, Mrs. Edwards. Now, listen, how are you? Have you got some shopping you could do? Oh, hold on. Hello, Audrey's going to help you. Oh, no, sorry, love. We are chock-a-block today, honestly. Audrey, if you hear anything, anything at all, please. Uh, yeah, OK, sorry. Bye. It's good of you to worry about me, but honest, there's no need. I was sure you'd have told him by now. I thought you'd both be here. I need to get home. I want to tell him away from this place. Away from the noise and the smells. I'll get a couple of hours off. Make sure you're OK. Well, the midwife's just phoned me a cab. That's all right. I'll share it with you. Get the bus back in. Oh, no, thanks. I want to see him on my own. It might be easier if you've got somebody with you. He may have some questions, but he's going to have loads. <laughs> Maria, it's going to hit him like a sledgehammer. Marcus, no. Thank you, but no. Well, are they going to charge us? Do they want us to go in for more questions? Oh, it's looking bad for you, babe. Why? What does it say? Well, I'm OK. No further action, but you're being charged with criminal nail-biting and agitation. Criminal? That's not funny. <laughs> Shall we have a look? Are we going to read it or are you going to stand there like a rabbit caught in the headlights? I don't want to know. Oh, go on then. OK. <clears throat> the letter is dated. We just stop it? Just read it? Right, brilliant. Panic over. No further action. We're in the clear. We've done it. Oh, but it's dinner time. But you've never heard of a lunch break. Hello, Audrey's gonna help you. Ted! Oh, nice to hear you. No, no, it's perfect time, perfect. Uh, hang on, I'll, uh, I'll lock the door. So, now. How are you? Where is she, Ozzy? Where's she gone to? Expiry date, uh, October 2009. Well, it should be okay. 
Oh, I see. Did they give you a reason? You think they would, wouldn't you? No, I'd rather not send a check. Our old buggy's fallen to pieces and we really need a new one straight away. Yes, I will, of course. Thank you. Bye. How annoying is that? My car's just been refused. Exceeded your limit. It's not a credit card, it's our joint account. Ooh, been spending all of Ashley's hard-earned cash. Actually, it's our hard-earned cash. Of course I haven't. I'll just nip home and call the bank. Uh, ring them from here. No, thanks, I won't be long. If it's privacy you're after, I won't listen. I'll be giving them passwords and things. Well, you know me, Mr Discreet. Better not. Are you saying I can't be trusted? Lloyd! I would trust you with my life. Keep going, please. Don't stop, just keep going. You heard out yet? Oi, unless you're putting on a bet, you're not welcome in here. They said this week. If you were going to be charged, you'd know this week. Right, come on, sunshine, out. Look, I'll find out anyway. My lawyer says if they accept I won't work in the loan... No, but you were alone, weren't you? You know, according to your friends, the plods, anyway. No further action. <laughs> No. I don't believe you, Egg. I gave him everything, every detail. Yeah, but not a scrap of proof. They can prove it was you who set the fire, all the forensics, all the details, even that little confession that you made. But nothing that ties it to us. Shame. So I get sent down and you get away with everything? Oh, yeah, I'm laughing, me, Paul. Thanks to you, won't get the insurance. I've lost my business, and I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. <laughs> well, you know, I'm glad I came in. I did need cheering up. Well, you'll be on your way then, won't you? Yes. Very happy, mate. Oh, happy, are you? So you fancy a criminal record, do you, Paul? No, you put yourself in prison. You've done it all to yourself. Well, if it ruined your plastic little life, sweetheart, it was well worth it. There you go. A couple of nice, juicy murders to keep you going, all those lazy hours by the pool. <laughs> I tried to phone you earlier. Oh, you have left me mobile at home. It going like that? No. Stick the kettle on. You've only got an hour. Ashley, Deirdre, I've got weeks. I'm not going. Oh, no. What's happened? What's he done now? Shh. He's upstairs. No, it's uh, not him. It's me. What, you've had a row? No, no, nothing like that. I've changed my mind. But... I know. It's the holiday of a lifetime. A complete break, all that sea and sun I and... know! I know, I'm sorry. Why? I mean, really? Why? truth. I just don't think I could stand being cooped up 24-7 for weeks on end with Vernon. Yeah, I'd get a break when he's on stage, but even then I have to sit on the front row smiling like an idiot. Oh, Liz. You won't tell anybody, will you? Oh, Liz. I should have stopped you marrying him. Oh, right. And how would you have done that? No, it's not about being married. Yes, it is. You knew from the start you weren't going to be happy. No, we are happy enough. It's not about that. It's just we're the same as any other married couple. Would you want to be handcuffed to Ken 24 hours a day? Well, yeah. He'd have his book, I'd have mine. We'd stroll round the deck, argue a bit, take it in turns to decide which restaurant to eat. Yeah, that's you and Ken. Me and Vern will be like that in a few years. Oh, well, don't, don't sit down or anything. Well, I can't. I've told you. I'm up to my neck with appointments. Your eyes melted an hour ago. Oh, come here. Thank you. I've been sat like a prune here for ages. I called at the salon. You were closed. No, I was there. I was on the phone. What, for all this time? Mm. Yeah, it was a supplier arranging new products and that. Anyway, look, it can't be helped, can it? I'm sorry. Look, you know how I'm fixed? It'd be nice, actually, if you offered a bit of help instead of nagging all the time. All right. 
I will pop round and do a couple of shampoo and sets then for you. <laughs> well, it might come to that if Blue and Maria doesn't get her act together. Mm. I'll see you. Yeah. Taxi for Ringo Starr. <laughs> <laughs> He's just making himself look presentable. He's playing these in five hours. Very witty. Vernon, your car's here. There you go. One for the road. Oh, right. You excited? Well, I'm, I'm not 14. Well, no, no. I must be a bit excited. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. <laughs> hey, bourbon on the rocks, kiss from a gorgeous chick, the world at my feet. So long, suckers. Uh, thanks for fixing my bag. No problem. Take care. Yeah, and, and you. I'll miss you. Well, you'll be with me in here. Very touching. Come on, you miss your flight if you don't get a wriggle on. Steve. Uh, no, I'm sorry, mate, but you've got our best car. You've not landed me with Lloyd, have you? I'm not going to give him me best car, am I? Now, come on. I'd come with you if I could. Where have I heard that before? Are you going to wave him off? Yeah, long goodbyes. Missing you already. There we go. Come on. Do you know, I'm all at sixes and sevens today, but we'll cope, won't we? Oh, just a minute, Sarah. Hello, Audrey's got... Maria! What on earth do you think you're playing at, young lady? The... I can't hear you, Maria. What are you saying? Yeah. All right, no, no, no. Oh, calm down and tell me. Where are you? Well, of course you can go home. Yeah, all right, all right. Just tell me where you are. All right. Well, you stay there, don't you budge. Oh, you silly, silly girl. Yeah, OK. I'll be there as quick as I can. Oh, I'm sorry. Love, I am so sorry. Emergency. I've got to close. I've got to close now. At least we haven't started. Uh, <laughs> look, uh, why don't you phone Tamara and uh, make another appointment on the house, of course. Oh, no, no. <laughs> don't take your coat off. You're not stopping. <laughs> Who was it said that? It was somebody, wasn't it? <laughs> She's got a trolley full of shopping and a standard lamp. She stood next to a broken-down car on the roundabout. I don't think she'd be that difficult to spot, do you? At last, one more idiot driver and I will swing for somebody. I'm not coming back to work, sorry. Whatever. The bank says our account's been emptied. All our savings gone, well, nearly all. Oh, mate, that's terrible. There goes your credit rating, then. What's Ashley going to say? I've got an appointment at the bank. Uh, hang on! When will you be back? I keep thinking. It might all be a mistake, mightn't it? I mean, the bank might have just got the wrong account details, do you think? I'll stay on the switch, will I? about you, my darling. Come on, let's get you. Oh dear, come on. Hello, love you, all right? Uh, salon's closed. Any idea what's happening? Again? Good job your mother's a multi-millionaire. Where is she? No idea, love. I just don't know what she's up to these days. Yeah, she's been a bit off with me as well. Well, not off, just... Odd. I can't make her out. She's not been visiting David, has she? Uh, not as far as I know. Have you ever heard of a Ted Page? Ted? Page, I think it was. What? Why? Well, she's on the phone to him last week and she seemed, I don't know, unsettled. My 
father. She's in touch with my father. You what? He was more interested in staying with Carla than coming home with me. Yeah, well, men do stupid things, darling. They don't think. He stayed there all night. Oh, right. Oh, so this is what it's about, is it? Audrey, Liam spent the night with Carla. Well, then he's a very, very silly young man and I bet he feels terrible. Oh, he says nothing happened. Well, maybe he did He says that he slept on the sofa and that that taxi never turned up. Well, you see, they are, then. Yeah, but he's lying. But the taxi should... did turn up. They turned it away. Don't... Why would he lie? Now, shush, my darling, shush. You know, I am trying to understand Maria and he's rushing around searching for you all over the place. Yeah, but... Yeah, no, no, listen. And I can see how upsetting it must be, sweetheart. But staying away all night... I needed to get away! Is there more to it than that, love? What? Did he hurt you, Leah? No! no! All right, all right, don't get upset again, please. Now, stop it. You know, it's not just you to think about now, sweetheart. You and that silly husband of yours, is it? <laughs> please, now you keep calm. Just for that little baby's sake, eh? <laughs> oh. Oh, come here, sweetie. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, darling, don't worry. Trevor McDonald's investigating how a fast food chain's fighting back in tonight next. And later, with everyone out for revenge in Benidorm and an old friend turning up in teenage kicks at half past, our hour of comedy begins from nine. <laughs> 